I know I'm a whole day behind on this. I usually get a player of the month video up as soon as it, the day it comes out, just like everyone else in the community did yesterday. That 99 Lightning Tyler O'Neill player of the month came out 106, 125 contact, 115, 125 power, diamond defense, 95 fielding, 99 speed. I did get him unlocked. It took me about two hours to complete the entire player of the month program. And today we're gonna take the lightning player of the month, Tyler O'Neill. we're gonna put him on a full player of the month team build today and play a ranked seasons game. Who's your favorite player of the month lightning card this year? Let me know down below. And if you like team builds like this, let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video. I'll do another one. All six months of the MLB season are complete. We have our lightning for April, May, June, July, August, and now September. The postseason content is gonna start flooding Diamond Dynasty and yesterday's player of the month completed the player of the month for the year. We got 96 relievers, we got Austin Hayes, Ian Happ, Ranger Suarez, 97 starter, got a diamond card to Lucas Sims, 97, 98, Eugenio Suarez at 70 points. You got the Lourdes Gurriel at 80. You got a bunch of really cool packs in this program as well. And then of course, as usual, once you complete it, you will get the Lightning Tyler O'Neill, who batted 328 with 13 home runs and 30 RBIs on the month with a great defense. Cardinals won 17 straight games, ran away with the wild card, and they're in the playoffs. And because they're in the playoffs, Tyler O'Neill is currently eligible to be used in the new postseason event that's in the game. So while I didn't get his ranked season's debut up yesterday like I should have, I apologize. I'm a terrible content creator. I have been playing with him in the event. I was live on Twitch for MLB on their MLB Twitch. Twitch channel playing that event, so I have played with Tyler O'Neill a little bit, but today, YouTube, you're gonna get your first taste of me rocking out with him in ranked seasons, and I'm gonna pair him up with all the best player of the month cards this year. Tyler O'Neill is gonna be in left field next to Byron Buxton with Luis Robert in right. We have all of the lightning cards, Robbie Ray, obviously, the starting pitcher lightning card, the only starting pitcher lightning card. We do have him at full energy, so we're gonna be able to use him on the bump with his five pitch mix, 120 hits per nine. April player of the month was Byron Buxton. Then we had Marcus Simeon in May. Kyle Swarbo, the left fielder with catcher secondary, was June. July was Joey Votto. And August, of course, was that Robbie Ray card with Tyler O'Neill as the September to cap it off. We got the flashback Lightning Matt Carpenter Diamond Player of the Month card that's in the game from July of 2018. He will be on third base in a secondary. And then to fill out, we'll have the 96 Carlos Correa at short and the 98 Luis Robert in right field. On the bench will be Eugenio Suarez, Lourdes Gurriel, Hunter Renfro, Ian Happ, and Will Smith. And when I was putting this bench together, I realized there is a significant lack of left-handed hitters in the Player of the Month programs over the last two months. If you go to the Player of the Month programs and you sort it out, I mean, the amount of right-handed hitters, Austin Hayes, Bobby Dahlbeck, Harrison Bader, AJ Pollock, Ty France, Jonathan Scope, Frank Schwindel, Austin Riley, Tommy Pham, Kyle Farmer, Jose Abreu, Eugenio Suarez, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., Hunter Renfro, and Will Smith are all right-handed. Ian Happ, along with Brian Reynolds, are both switch hitters, and really the only two left-handed hitters ab above a 93 overall that I can use is Brandon Lau and Tyler Naquin. And Tyler Naquin is gonna be the guy that gets on the bench in that slot for our lefties. So Naquin will be the lefty. We'll have Renfro, Gurriel, and Suarez as righties with Ian Happ as a switch hitter. And Kyle Schwarber, of course, will not come out of the game. I'm working on that parallel five anyway. The lineup's gonna go Byron Buxton, Marcus Simeon, Joey Votto, Tyler O'Neill, Kyle Schwarber, Luis Robert, Matt Carpenter, and Carlos Correa. I'm also one and one in the new ranked season, and my rating is 698, so I have no idea if this game is gonna be all-star or Hall of Fame difficulty. Depends on who I get matched up with. I would rather be on Hall of Fame, though. I'd rather play the better competition on the higher difficulty. The last thing I wanna do is go down the all-star and then back up the Hall of Fame in the next vid. They gotta figure out some sort of compromise to fix this issue when you're on the bubble in, in ranked seasons. It's super weird weird bouncing back and forth. I don't know, maybe you just make rank seasons a universal pitch speed at Hall of Fame and then you start a new competitive mode where you go up to legend. I don't know, maybe something like a weekend league. Parallel for Jacob DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom, he's also got Byron Buxton in his lineup. Batting eight, we got a bat leadoff. I like that. He's 83 and 47, the Buffalo Braves with the Bills logo. Interesting, what are those uniforms looking like though? I'm very, very curious. Uh, Tyler O'Neill stretching out the hammies out there in right field. First pitch to Tim Anderson's a single out to right. My man. I'm going to pick him off. Get him, get him. Oh, I thought we had him. 
Tim doesn't have the highest steel rating on his car, but he runs well. We pull the string. Oh, I loved this card when it came out. 2-2. Two, two. Roll it over. Good take again. 3-2. and two. Fouls off another one. My heavens. Nine pitch at bat here on Prince. And he pops it up. Big time right there. First out, sometimes the hardest. To this day. Good swing with Trevor Store. There we go. Finally a strikeout. Saw a lot of foul balls that inning. He gets two, he strands one. We're gonna have to hit the ball. Man, what an inning. He stayed alive in a couple of those at bats. And then hits a homer on a first pitch fastball up and away. And that's gone. We'll get one back from Lightning Marcus Simeon who set a record for home runs at the second base position this year. That was a moonshot. He's gonna be parallel five shortly after Trey Turner. He may be over 9,000 actually in experience after this game now. He was knocking on the door. Joey Votto, back to back, perfect, perfect. We're tied. Huh. 4.15 on a line, the lightnings are showing up, baby. And Tyler O'Neill's gonna have a chance to make it back to back to back. It's a good slider. Good slider. Kyle Schwarber. Unfortunately, the late side of good's gonna get him there, but that was a solid swing. We get both runs back on two homers, two perfect perfects. Ronald Acuna. 0-1, that curveball down and in. That was a great pitch. What a swing. Now Buxton in the eight hole, hits a single out the center, first pitch swinging. And it is 3-2. Takes off. Doesn't get the bunt down. Perfect throw. He's out at second. Ched. Get out of here, Jake. And Tim Anderson flies out to end the inning. All right, he gets one. Back-to-back -back hits to lead off the inning. Ronald got it going. That was a quick rally. It happened fast. I pulled the trigger late on that heater. Can't hesitate on that ball. Good changeup. Nasty. All right, we got to get the pen going. I am not getting good releases here with Robbie. Chase the fastball, 3-2, fouled it off. And that changeup gets him. One down. Tyler O'Neill makes the plays. Very, very, very good out there defensively. Trevor Story, once again, first pitch swinging, hits a single. That time, well, he's lucky he didn't hit that one into the snow. 0-2 on Vlad. We've gotten him to swing at that slider a lot. What I need, though, is some soft contact in play with it. Good curve. See ya! Back-to-back -back K's after he gets that runner on first. Nothing in the third. Our first goose egg. Robbie Ray! Oh, he gets down! Let's go! And then Byron Buxton rolls a slider. He will not get two on Buxton. I'll, I'll honestly take that trade off. Ah, be patient on that slider. Well, we were patient on that slider, but we hit it right at Prince at first. A base hit scores bucks in anywhere, Joey. Good hold. No shot. No shot. 0-2 on Eduardo Escobar. He's really trying to pick a fastball now. He's way too comfortable with this lead. Got him to chase again. Another two-strike foul ball here. Put him away. It's going to be a foul ball. We'll just off the plate in. That's in. That's in. That's, I want that in. I need it more in, Robbie. And then chase. Bounce one, Robbie. Good pitch. Got him again. Let's go. Fly ball to center. DeGrom is on deck. And we're going to try and get him in the bottom of the fourth to tie this thing up. Kyle Swarber, God, it's his second swing this game where he's just off. Lou Bob. 2-0 changeup. We were on top, but we hit it really hard. Snatched at third. A fly ball to center again. Tim Anderson for the second out of the fifth. Front door curve. See ya. Held up on the changeup. It's 3-2 with Correa on deck. Smoked. 
He threw a beautiful curveball right on the corner, but we are gonna get it to one hop the wall for extra bases. Carlos Correa! I did not miss it! No! I finally barreled that thing up. He's been throwing way too many of those. He just kind of got bailed there. <laughs> All right, um, let's hit Eugenio. He's got the 125, 120, righty, righty. We have Kittredge and Williams still warm. They're ready to go in the pen for the top of the sixth. Buxton extends the fifth with a perfect, perfect double down the line. He quick pitched a four seam 102 right on the corner. It's tough to get a perfect release on that quick pitch. He's going to hit a ground ball up the middle for a base hit. Front door cutter. See ya! Hits that cutter off the end of the bat for a foul ball. Going to go ahead and get, uh, let's get Advert warmed up. And I'm going to go to Kittredge here because apparently Devin Williams just can't get it out. 0-2 oh, on Ronald Acuna Jr. Foul. Oh, I just got on the, the two strike foul balls, man. Fouls off a sinker. We got him to chase again there. 1-2. Look at this. Look at this six pitches I've thrown us that bad. He went. Ring him, please. The window for a strikeout here doesn't seem to be very open. Oh my gosh, we got him! And gets him on the changeup. Step on a plate, Kyle! Joey! Huh? Joey Votto, lead off duck! Yes, sir! I'll take I'll take those ground ball base hit back. Give all give me three, give me all three of them right now. Tyler O'Neill! I just, I can't turn on that fastball up and in to save my life today. Slider misses 2-2 two, two and it'll get away. The double play is gone. We'll just act like Tyler O'Neill Bonnet. And he missed. There we go. Ball four. Lou Bob in. Now he's lefty lefty on Matt Carver. He goes to Gregory Soto. So DeGrom out of the game. But I was late on DeGrom's fastball. I don't know. I was not able to turn on that pitch. Good take there, Carp. It's 2-2. Two, two. Again, I'm just under that ball. I can't seem to square that fastball up and in today. And then the slider again. Chops the ground ball to short. Three up, three down for Andrew Kittredge. He has been the player of the game so far. Sneak through. No, you still owe me two more weird ground ball hits. You still owe me two. Hunter Renfro. Why is he playing so shallow with Hunter Renfro in there? Bucks in! Nice. Another solid swing here off John Franco. That one finds grass. Marcus Simeon rips one out to right now. There will be two on with two down. Good slider. Hook foul. Thank you. That was a great pitch. Ball four. Tyler O'Neill will come up with two outs and the base is loaded. Bottom seven tie game. Alex Reyes, I'm assuming that is the all-star game. Alex Reyes out of the pen. Gotta get him. No shot! Again, he just hasn't missed that pitch out over the plate all game. And we strike out. Trevor Story, three for three. Three for four. We're down one. It's heartbreaking. Change up. It was not on their way. We were getting two on Ronald there, so we'll take the lead runner at third. Good change up, and that should do it for the inning. Solo shot from Vlad, and then he strands the two ground ball singles. He's up to 12 hits. And that is a base side. That's big. Oh, if he would have made that play because of the shift, it would have killed me.
Lou Bob! Lou Bob! Matt Carpenter, perfect, perfect! Get over the wall! Of course. Ah! Uh, get down! Run, Matt! Run, Matt! I gotta keep him in third. Buxton playing so shallow in this game. Saban runs out there in center. We're gonna need another hit to bring him around. We'll go Naquin on the righty. Naquin! Down the line! And it is, you're actually kidding me right now! He's gonna go to Andrew Miller mid at bat, and I am gonna go to Lourdes Gurriel. Lucas Sims gonna come out and pitch. We really need a zero to stay alive here. Need that at bat in the bottom of the ninth to be a one swing from tying it at all time. Tim Anderson flies out to center as well. Back to back fly outs to center. Two outs on three pitches here. I smell momentum. We're a bloop and a blast from a win. I'm gonna fly ball to right. One swing ties it. Bloop and a blast wins it. Sheesh. Marcus Simeon just get in the grass. Stop hanging up so long. Oh, no. We're down to our last out. Tyler O'Neill's on deck. I didn't deserve that win. Well, the player of the month cards are some of the best cards in the game, no doubt. I did not perform today, though, and that sucks, too, because I played really well in that wager wheel video yesterday. And then we turn around and play like this. I've now lost two in a row. I'm honestly really upset with myself for how I'm playing with this Tyler O'Neill card. I am in a little rut right now. I got to get in BP and shake this. I got to get out of whatever it is. We're not turning on the fastball sinker inside right now. That's a pitch in an area everyone likes to throw that I like to take away. Right now, I'm just... I'm not getting on the early side of good with those swings. We're getting PCIs, but we're late side of good. So even when we do get solid exit velo, they're not getting out of the ball. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We got tons of content coming. Thumbs up down below if you're pumped. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. There is absolutely nothing on this earth better than a surprise mail day. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. I got a package from my friends at G Fuel that I'm super pumped to show to you guys here today. We have the Venom Black Ooze and Red Ooze. Each collector's box comes with one tub, one shaker cup, and it looks like a pretty cool sticker. As well in my package today, we got these. Look at these. I'm gonna pop these cans open and take a look at them. We have the Red Ooze G Fuel Energy Drink and the Black Ooze G Fuel Energy Drink. We're gonna fire these up live on Twitch. We'll save the OG for last. Let's go Red Ooze here. Got our shaker cup. Also have the good stuff, the Red Ooze. Also a sick sticker in here that I might add that I always get pumped about in these G Fuel collector's boxes. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Super satisfying sounds for 500. Now the Red Ooze. Cheers. Mm. That has like a very distinct fruity flavor to it that I can't put my tongue on right now. Oh, this is like in top five for me. This is like a top five G Fuel flavor for me out of the gate. Now we repeat the process. Black ooze style. First we got our shaker cup, same design, just blacked out. We got the tub itself, the black ooze. I don't know, man. It's going to be tough to live up to that red. That was good. And another one of our Venom stickers. Why not two? All right, let's see what you got, Black Ooze. Head to head, I gotta go Red Ooze on this one, straight up. I mean, I am just blown. Blown away by this one. Who do you got? But I will be drinking both of these for sure. Make sure you're using Coach Shelby for 10% off at checkout.